The sudden increase in the cost of energy essentially still produced from fossil fuels has prompted hordes of self-styled geopolitics experts to outline the most varied scenarios for the next 30 years of force, at least on paper, energy transition. But mindful of growth forecasts, travels and movements of the well-known Italian astrologer for the then worldwide fatal 2020, I decided to focus on a heating fuel that, regardless of the cost, would guarantee me the best performance in the least space so that I can easily store the greatest amount in the moment in which the suppliers. Warehouses were overcrowded and therefore forced to get rid of them even below cost. When in the 1950s the good soul of Enrico Mattei, proponent and founder of the Italian energy industry, found natural gas, commonly known as methane, in the Po Valley. Rather than oil, having no storage infrastructure or long-range export capacity, it did not could do other than pay homage to his fellow citizens at a symbolic price, in such a way as to persuade them to adopt their small cars with bulky and heavy cylinders thus bypassing the need to develop of technologies for effective and affordable storage, but now after many decades things have drastically changed. And while in Europe we have substantially attached to the pipe of Russian methane pipelines in North America they have found themselves overflowing with natural shale gas which obviously they have decided to market everywhere using the best storage and transport technologies are that making full use of the potential of LNG. L liquefaction of natural gas makes it possible to reduce its volume by about 600 times to about minus 160 degrees Celsius at almost atmospheric pressure, allowing storage and transport over long distances at competitive costs with special LNG carriers equipped with cryogenic tanks. In China, on the other hand, they have decided to make use of natural gas both from Russian pipelines and from LNG carriers to try to free themselves from coal and take full advantage of that. Combined cycle gas turbine plants, characterized by a high energy efficiency, to produce the increasingly essential electricity, but in a way less impacting off the environment while waiting for a real eco-sustainable energy technological breakthrough. That natural gas is and will be for the next decades a battleground, it is clear that here, below Molise in southeast Italy begins to gush hydrogen instead of methane from the gas network is highly unlikely, so my allies to face the imminent viewer, the cold wind coming from Siberia, will be the liquid fuel stove, the spicy ventricina and the cooked wine. The cheapest liquid fuel I currently have found is the petrochol, top which I readily purchased even though it sounds vaguely like poor man's oil. Liquid fuels are essentially of two types, the cheapest derived from the hydrogenation of kerosene, while the most expensive are isoparaffin obtained through the GTL process. In practice, the main difference lies in the different percentage of aromatics hydrocarbons and sulfur which determine the intensity of the odor upon switching on and off, as well as the level of toxicity, but in both cases in very low percentages, as required by current legislation. Dot. As far as portable liquid fuel stoves are concerned, they are also of two types, mechanical wick and electronic, they differ mainly in terms of consumption, ease of use and odor management. Ultimately, the only advantage of the mechanical wick ones is that they do not require electrical power. The stove I am using is about five years old, but currently there are very similar ones. Even for less than 200 euros. The model in question is a Kiro SRE 300, minimum power 800 watts. Maximum power 3000 watts, heating capacity 120 M3, minimum consumption 0.07 liters per hour, maximum consumption 0.3 liters per hour, tank capacity 4 liters, height 40 centimeters, width 42, cm depth 31 centimeters, maximum autonomy of about 50 hours. Net weight of 10 kilograms, removable tank, electronic thermostat with 24 hour timer. Evaporation burner without filter, ventilation function, altitude adjustment self-diagnosis. Three operating modes operation, min, save, auto, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide detection system, rollover safety, system and automatic odor abatement system on and off. The only tedious operation to do manually is to fill the tank with a manual or electric. 
pump or simply by using a funnel. Personally I also use to fill a plastic emergency tank with a spout in such a way as to have, if necessary, also a supply to be quickly transferred into the stove tank. After connecting the plug to the electrical socket, you will be asked to import the time using the plus and minus keys, confirming it by pressing the mode key. To use it if necessary, just turn it on. By pressing the on key, the countdown will start during which the stove will manage ignition in a totally automatic way. For the first five minutes, the stove will start at maximum power, then it will adapt to the preset temperature with the plus and minus key. During ignition and shutdown you will notice a more or less intense odor depending on the quality of the fuel used, such as that produced by a spark plug being extinguished. To program the daily start and shutdown at a predetermined time, just Press the timer button and the timing button, selecting the time and duration of operation. With the plus and minus buttons, naturally setting the preferred temperature in one of the three power management modes, idle, automatic and economy. In economy mode the stove will turn on and off automatically, while in the other two modes it will only be modulated by power. Obviously, to be defined a good stove must keep the environment in which it is located. Effectively and quickly, using a kitchen thermometer I verified that in automatic mode, with the temperature set at 30 degrees Celsius, the maximum temperature detected a few centimeters. From the burner is about 160 degrees Celsius, while in minimum mode it is about 100 degrees Celsius. In addition an environmental thermometer at about 30 centimeters it detected in any case about 30 degrees Celsius. At shutdown the temperature near the burner quickly drops below 50 degrees. Therefore comparable to a classic methane catalytic stove which at maximum power reached about 170 degrees Celsius near the burner. The tank full of fuel has a total weight of about 3.9 kilograms after more than two hours of various tests. At various temperatures and power modes, the weight dropped to about 3.4 kilograms, while after another three hours of operation in minimum mode with temperature set at 18 degrees dropped to about 3.1 kilograms. Therefore, considering the filling of the small internal fixed tank of the burner, at the first ignition, I would say that the consumptions are in line with those declared, i.e. about 0.1 liters every hour at minimum and about 0.3 liters every hour at most, for an expense minimum of about 22 cents per hour to a maximum of about 66 cents per hour, considering the current price of 2.2 euros per liter. For those who want maximum versatility and the best management of consumption and power, it is certainly a choice to take into consideration. I hope I have been helpful and pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already, comment, share, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye.